the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development has conducted a comprehensive means assessment that is able to that has been able to pick the core issues that the Kenyans want uh, in order for us to be able to reform the curriculum. And uh, currently, we are doing data analysis and. Uh, and we are both uh, looking at the qualitative and the quantitative data so that we can be able to pick out the salient issues that the Kenyan uh, society requires and even the education partners that are in Kenya, the non-government organizations, uh, the international community voices that have come out very strongly on the kind of curriculum that we really need uh, to have. Some of the issues that we are, uh, we are going to be looking at very strongly is the issue of contemporary and emerging issues, for example, anti radicalization anti-terrorism, and drug and substance abuse that are very uh, pertinent in our country today and we really need to look at them and be able to say, yes, this is the way they need to be handled so that this issue can be stopped amongst the youth and then we can be able to unnest uh, the, the, the potential of our youth. Because our vision for the curriculum reform is uh, nurturing every runner's potential. And in order for us to be able then to do that, apart from the issues of contemporary and emerging issues, we have also looked at uh, what kind of learning areas do Kenyans think that we need for our society? What kind of uh, assessment should we be able to conduct in order to bring out a proper assessment that is for learning? Um, we are also looking at uh, what kind of pedagogies the teachers have, have to have so that they can be able to bring out competency-based curriculum in the most effective manner. So those are some of the things that have come out very pertinently and we are hoping once we analyze the data and complete, we will be able to come out with a very comprehensive thinking of what Kenyans need and what kind of a curriculum should we be having that will help us to prefer this country to Vision 2030 and also be able to answer to our constitution, which is very pertinent on national values and the principles of governance, which are very critical, even as we think about uh, uh, what we are doing ahead. But one of the things that we are leading, uh, thinking about uh, very uh, critically as a curriculum development center is how do we embed the issue of the 21st century skills? And that is why this, uh, this workshop on uh, education futures is how do we come out from what we have been holding on to what should be the reality of the learner. And one of the things that has come out very strongly is that as teachers, we need to be, be, begin to think about how do we make learners to grow knowledge? How do we tap from what they know and what they have so that we can be able to make them have, other than pushing content in their minds and thinking that their minds are empty. That is one of the things that has come out very strongly. The other thing that has come out very strongly is also thinking about what kind of pedagogies should we be able to begin using amongst our teachers so that when they are teaching the learners, they can be able to actually acquire the competencies that are able to help them to have a future. And, and, and the other thing that is also coming out very strongly is, is the question of what kind of assessments are we going to be employing that will bring our learners to be able to say, actually, they have been able to learn something. So that, that is really coming out very strongly. And I want to say, as a curriculum and development center, the, the workshop has kind of been a mind-bogging, thinking, removing us from what we have been standing on and making us to have an open mind as, as we think about what kind of values, what kind of uh, knowledge, what kind of attitudes, what kind of uh, attributes do we really need to embed in the curriculum as we think of the future? And the other thing that has come out very strongly in, this, in, this, uh, in, the, in, the, in Peter's presentations is the question of the use of digital literacy. How do we make it a tool for learning so that the learners are able to get the potential that is unnessed through this kind of uh, uh, ICT literacy issues? Mm -hmm.